Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Flags and Foods. I am Mr. Flag and I am excited to take you through a journey of flags and foods. Last week we were in South Africa, this week let's head to another destination. Now let's say hello to Mr. and Mrs. Food. Sabaydi. 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 Let's see where this is from. Let's dive into the three quirky facts. Fact number one. Unfortunately, this is the most bombed country in the world. During the 1960s and 70s, 2 million bombs were dropped on this country and 30% of those bombs are, have still not exploded, causing serious injury even today to a section of its population. Fact number two, they used to bury their ancestors in massive stone jars and one of the main tourist attractions of the region is called Plain of Jars. Fact number three, it is home to the widest waterfall in the world known as the Kone Fafeng Falls at a width of 35,000 376 feet. The water flowing through it is double what Niagara Falls sees. The country is Laos. I visited Laos in 2013. Laos is a country in Southeast Asia, a former French colony. It is one of the ultimate travel frontiers for the bold and adventurous. Landlocked and mountainous, swamped by jungles, remote villages, ancient Buddhist sites and a vibrant culture makes a journey to Laos an enigmatic experience for the seasoned traveler. One of the last remaining communist states, Laos offers a laid-back touristic experience as compared to the more hectic and bustling lifestyle of its neighbors Vietnam and Thailand. Laos Top 5 Attractions 1. Luang Prabang One of the three UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Laos, Luang Prabang is on the Buddhist pilgrimage trail and is considered to be one of the most picturesque towns in Southeast Asia. The glorious Kuang Si Falls with its multi-level cascades is a short drive from the town. 2. Vientiane The charming capital of Laos, Vientiane is filled with abundance of French-inspired architecture, including the Laotian version of the famous Arc de Triomphe. The main attractions of Vientiane include That Luang, which is considered to be the most sacred monument in the country, and Wat Siaket Temple featuring over 10,000 Buddha sculptures. 3. Vang Vieng Stemming from being the main backpacker location of Laos, Van Viang has a bit of a wild reputation fueled by its vibrant nightlife scene. One of the most popular things to do in Van Viang is tubing down the Nam Song River amid lush jungle scenery and limestone mountains and stopping by various riverside bars en route. 4. Si Fan Don Being a landlocked country, it may sound strange to hear that Si Fan Don translates to mean 4000 islands but it's precisely what it is, with the islands dotting the Mekong River in southern Laos Kong district, with a charming backdrop of rice fields, farmlands and riverside huts. 5. Thakbat It is one of the most surreal experiences to be had in Laos, when from 5.30 am onwards, silent lines of saffron-clad monks walk down the streets of Luang Prabang to collect arms. As tourist, one can join in giving bowl full of Laos staple sticky rice to the monks and be part of this vivid cultural experience. Guess what we are making today? I don't know, but uh, considering it's Laos, I'm thinking something to do with rice. Nope, but I like the way you think. Did you know that Laos is the biggest consumers of sticky rice in the world? Oh, is it? Of course. And there is an interesting superstition as well. Mm -hmm. You need to close the rice basket once you finish eating the rice. Okay, what if I don't? Well, I am pretty sure you did because otherwise you wouldn't have found the perfect meat. What? <laughs> anyway, today we are making Lao Khao Soy. Let's go straight into the ingredients. The ingredients for the Lao Khao Soy can be divided into three categories. One for the broth, two for the meat sauce and third for the noodles. For the broth, we need a few pieces of chicken bones, a bunch of coriander leaves, three slices of ginger, one to two shallots, some of these will come in for the meat sauce, one tablespoon of fish sauce, 
1 teaspoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of salt for the meat sauce you need 500 grams of pork mince one small onion finely chopped for the chili paste we need dried chilies and about 3 cloves of garlic one cup of diced tomatoes and 4 tablespoon of soybean paste the rice noodles we are using are about uh, 3 mm thick we need oil and finally for the garnish we are going to use watercress leaves mint leaves bean sprouts spring onion and lime add all the broth ingredients except fish sauce to the pot bring to a boil and then reduce to a simmer continue to cook for an hour until the broth is rich in flavor now add the fish sauce strain out the ingredients from the broth and keep aside soak the chilies in hot water for 10 minutes and grind along with garlic and oil heat a pan and add the chili garlic mixture pour oil if needed and saute the chopped onion and shallots until soft add the pork mince and stir in for the juices to be released you can substitute pork with any mince like chicken beef or lamb mix in the soybean paste so that the meat is coated well and soaks in all the flavor the paste contains salt so mostly no extra salt will be needed add the diced tomatoes and simmer for about 20 minutes while continuously stirring the liquid in the meat sauce should be significantly reduced cook the rice noodles as per the instructions on the pack here the noodles were soaked in hot water for 6 to 8 minutes and drained to serve toss in the cooked rice noodles in a bowl pour in the piping hot broth top this with a few spoons of the meat sauce and garnish with bean sprouts spring onions and coriander the traditional way to serve lao khao soy is with a spread of fresh herbs condiments chilies and lime hello junior food welcome back Hello, Mr. Flag. You can see that you're in our Flags and Foods t-shirt today. Oh yeah, this is just for a change. Oh, that's very nice, Junior Food. So we are going to taste the cuisine from another part of the world today. Do you know which country it is? It's Laos. That's correct. Are you ready for the two questions? I'm up for it. Okay. Laos is known as the land of a million what? I'll give you three options. One, tiger. Two, Elephants. Three monkeys. Which one it is? A million elephants. That's correct. And second question. Do you know which is the longest river in Laos? Is it the Kakong? No, it's the, called the Mekong. Anyway, the Mekong has a very special animal in it. Do you know what is it? It's a dolphin. That's correct. Do you know what the name of the dolphin is? No. It's an Iravadi smiling dolphin. <laughs> are you ready to taste the food now? Yes. As per Laotian custom, we are supposed to add these fresh herbs to the soup just before eating it. Verdict time. The three hand gestures to Junior Food. Okay. Yes! Okay, Junior Food, verdict? Yes! Oh, after a lot of double and triple thumbs ups, Junior Food has given us a single thumbs up this time. This is very fine. Thank you, Junior Food. This is a noodle soup, which is very typical of the region. The broth is very flavorful and it is a bit sour as well because they use the fish sauce and the fermented soy 
What makes the soup very distinct is the tomato and meat mix, which is very reminiscent of the bologna sauce that we use in Italy. Cope July Live viewers for tuning into this episode of Flags and Foods. If you liked our show, please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon. We will be back next week with another signature dish from another stunning country. Till then, happy cooking and keep your travel dreams alive. I am going to narrate a very interesting story on the two drinks of Laos. We sailed into Laos on the Mekong from Thailand. On the first night, we halted at a small village in the north of Laos and we went to a small shack to have a drink. Now, Laos is famous for two drinks, the snake wine, you can see the photo and see how it looks, and Lao Lao, which is a rice wine. So our group took a competition, a short challenge. Being the adventurous one, I joined in as well and kept having the snake wine and the lava lava shot in mix. Now what I didn't realize is the rest of the group after one shot stopped and they went back to drinking beer or something like that. So I kept having this. The next thing I remember is waking up sometime in the night I believe in my room and it was pitch darkness. The first thought which came to my mind is, oh my god, I'm blind. And I started really screaming and freaking out. Suddenly, thankfully, my hand went and hit the light switch and it came on. So everything was fine. In the morning, we had the remaining part of the sail to reach one of the cities in Laos. And I heard such amazing stories of last night, wherein apart from the short challenge, I took part in a push-up challenge. And then they had literally carry me back to the hotel because there's a curfew time in Laos and we had to get back into the hotel before a certain time in the night. And I guess I threw up during the dinner as well. So whenever I see a bottle of wine, I get glimpses of this incident. Until next time, goodbye.